And any any advice to um, those who want to be a cabin crew in Air Asia okay. or or in on a, in like just other other airlines? Other airlines yes. Uh, okay. If you want to be a cabin crew, you uh, I really recommend you be a cabin crew, even though I quit it. <laughs> but then I can tell you that it's a really fun job. It's a really fun job, especially the air uh, They are fun and friendly. There is no seniority, no senior and junior. We work as a team together. Uh, and also, uh, as the CEO is, they don't like seniority. Oh, nice. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we don't have like there's no border. But then I don't know about other airlines. <laughs> but then I can tell you guys that the area is no seriously. And then I yeah, if you want to promote yourself like as a chief leader, there's no limitation. You can challenge any time. You can try. You there's no limitation. I mean like as long as you working as a cabin crew at least one year, you can promote. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good opportunity in Air Asia. Okay. Maybe when you go to other airline, no matter how long, right? You, uh, you yeah, yeah. There must be some, yeah. and sometimes you, you have to have experience mm -hmm. to become a like a leader or yeah, yeah, yeah. or one step higher. But in Air Asia, no. Just one year. Mm -hmm. Okay, Air Asia just one year to be promoted. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you get you get better salary, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. You get better salary after a, after a year. If you choose to be a uh, like chief manager or something like that. Yeah, then yeah. you can drink it all, you can come over Korea, then you can enjoy the food like this. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, so I guess there's a, a different difference between normal cabin crew um, and then the higher status crew. Yeah. I mean, in terms, no. in terms of like, uh, in terms of, in terms of um, like having a break, right? Uh, no, I think it's the same. Mm. Just that the difference is. <laughs> mm, just difference is just mine. Difference is just mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then responsibility. Uh, responsibility. responsibility. Yeah. Responsibility. But, but. Um, you know, you can you can tell other crew to, hey, clean that up. No, no, <laughs> no, no, you cannot. I was not like that. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I yeah, every year the supervisory group, they are not the the kind of like supervisory group that okay, they will use their power to use union. No, mm. there's no there's no um like hierarchy. Um, you can employ, I mean, use to yeah, control others. So, Air Asia is like a perfect, it could be perfect place for you to um, work if you like freedom. Yeah. I mean, and the stay in Kuala Lumpur is really nice. The living cost is cheap, and then also there is a lot of nice bar. There's a, oh, there is the little Korea. No, yeah. there were, were some like us. Okay. Yeah. Not many, not many Koreans, but some. Yeah. yeah. There, there were some Koreans. Yeah. So you don't miss Korean food, and then even though when you, after you move to Malaysia, you can fly to Korea most probably every two weeks, which is I not only uh, Seoul, they do fly to uh, Busan and Jeju as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you can you can have a a day break there, right? Yes. And you can you can travel a little bit yeah. around there, and then yep, yep. then you will have to go back to uh, Kuala Lumpur. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's cool. But um, with whom did you work with most? Mm, I mean, like, like Japan, Japanese crew, or like uh, Malaysian crew, or uh, Korean of course, crew. Of yeah. course, it depends. If let's say. If you fly to Korea, there's a lot of Korean crew. Yeah. But in Air Asia, the majority of the crew is Malaysian. Uh, Malaysian, okay. and I think second biggest majority is Japanese. Okay, second. Then Korean. Okay. Mm. So you could you could work with Malaysian and yeah. Korean together. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. There's a lot of nationality crew. I mean, like not only Korean, Korean, Japanese, Thai, Myanmar, mm. and Vietnamese. Oh. 
Yeah. There's so many nationalities, so really international. True, but with, with, with who did you work with most? Malaysian. Malaysian, mm. okay. Then you always had to use English, right? Yep, yep. Always. Mm. So that's why you, your English is super good. Thank you. <laughs> anyway. anyway, but among them, who was the, who was the most beautiful? <laughs> yeah. Among among the, the I see the several countries. If you ask me, Korean. <laughs> Why you Seriously, how they to me how they take care of themselves is really really wow. I mean like even though they I can't tell no when I go to know their age I was like what you are thirty five but you look like thirty five years old because. This key is super nice, and then okay. I look so beautiful. Mm. Mm. So, who was the <clears throat> who was the youngest Korean crew there? I think twenty years old, twenty one. Twenty one years old, yeah. twenty years. Oh, okay. I I guess Air Asia doesn't care about much. I mean, no, they don't really care education. No, yeah. doesn't care much about as education. As long as they okay. have a passion. Passion. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I was gonna say that um, you can you can even apply to Air Asia mm -hmm. even yep. even if you you just you just graduated from high school. So mm -hmm. they don't yes. really care the education. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. As long as uh, they can speak English, yeah, they want to be. They don't need to stay in uh, Kuala Lumpur. Okay. It's okay.